In the 1920s, the United States was one of the richest and most powerful countries in the world. But the stock market crash of 1929 and the Great Depression that followed brought the good times to an end. 12 million Americans lost their jobs at a time when there was no welfare, no unemployment insurance, and no social security. For some, soup kitchens and bread lines provided the only relief. Times were hard enough for people in large cities across the nation. But American farmers and their families suffered especially severe hardships. John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, is a record of the farmer's struggle to make a living during the Depression. The novel tells the story of the Jodes, a family of farmers who were forced out of Oklahoma by a drought during the Depression. Their story was not unusual. Millions of American farmers, especially those living in the Great Plains, experienced the same hardships. People were just having to leave everything. They just left their belongings and, uh, and took what they could carry uh, and went to California. Like the Jodes, farming families from the Midwest thought they could find work picking fruit in California's vast orchards. But California was not everything they had hoped it would be. There were lots of people here who were looking for work. There were a lot of people who were living marginally. Huge corporate growers had taken over the farms. They held enormous power, and they had more workers than they could use. Jobs in the large farms were hard to find. Barbed wire fences were built to keep the migrants from going outside of special settlement areas and into the surrounding community. The great landowners feared that this new group of migrants coming to California were going to be more easily organized into a fighting force. They're white Americans. They're going to be demanding the so-called American standard of living in California. We're going to have trouble from them. The migrants were sick and starving. Nevertheless, agricultural businesses throughout California were discarding produce so that what remained could be sold for a higher price. John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, exposed the horrible living and working conditions forced on the migrant farmers. It also made him a lot of enemies. Wealthy farmers, politicians, and even FBI director J. Edgar Hoover accused Steinbeck of lying, inciting people to riot, and of being a communist. But the author and his book got some powerful help from First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt. When Mrs. Roosevelt, who basically came out to see the conditions of the migrant workers, when she mentioned his name in his book, it completely changed the credentials of that particular piece of material which up until then, uh, people were saying was either an outright lie, it wasn't happening, he was distorting the facts. In 1933, President Franklin D. Roosevelt created an economic and social program to fight the Great Depression called the New Deal. The government set up a social security system, began giving financial aid to farmers, and put people to work on civil projects. For farmers like the Jodes, the New Deal didn't bring an immediate end to the Great Depression, but it did give millions of people the help that they needed to survive and the promise of a better future. John Steinbeck's novel, The Grapes of Wrath, tells the story of A, American farmers who migrated to California. B, the effects of the Great Depression on American cities. C, how American farmers caused the stock market crash of 1929. D, racial conflict in America's rural communities. During the Great Depression, American farmers were aided the most by A, corporations that owned large farms. B, President Roosevelt's New Deal program. C, politicians in large cities. D ideal weather conditions in the Midwest. Why did American farmers suffer hardships even after they migrated to California? 